your first up on the program yeah, here, John. Welcome to the show, Listen. my friend. Hey there. Actually, it's John, but that's okay. Oh, we're sorry about that, man. Here. Sorry about that. We have moved on to Southern Illinois. We're on our way to Omaha College World Series. Nice. Road trip is from Charlottesville, Virginia. Uh oh. You get you'll, you'll be there by eight, right? We'll be there in plenty of time. We'll have time for some beverages in the parking lot. <laughs> and uh, how old are your uh, how old are your sons? My sons are uh, eleven and nine, and my friend's son is twelve. And this they're, is not, that's they're not allowed trip. to drink yet, right? They are not allowed to drink <laughs> much. <laughs> much. Right. Right. And no, I, I, I gotta it. say, I feel like maybe I don't have anything great to say about my dad after that litany of things you ran down with your dad. <laughs> Well, that, I wasn't trying to. I'll see now. I feel bad. I wasn't trying to like. Unbelievable. Well, I'm telling you, it's again. The, I think to be in this industry, John, to do the stuff that we do, you have to be a kind of a special, twisted individual. Yeah. You know, to yeah. like to, to like you have to be obsessed with this stuff, and uh, I think my dad, obviously. With all the weird and, and kind of unique things that he took me to, certainly got the ball rolling, but then I took it to another level on my own, you know? I got to take the blame. I think that the best thing my dad ever took me to was a Washington Capitals game in the old Landover Stadium. And oh, wow. And worked for a tire company at the time, and I got to be the inflatable mascot trading the tire on the ice. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait a second. Does the tire roll, or does it lay flat? Like, how did you... That's it. Actually, it has feet, the little ball cap, and clappy arms, and um, I was in the suit. I remember they were playing the Blackhawks, and as they came off at intermission, I was going on the ice for the promotion, and I was making funny voices to the Blackhawks, and one of them kind of stepped towards me with his stick, and uh, I thought it was on, but uh, he, he was on. He was on how old were you? How old How old were high school. High school. Oh, you, had no, you, you were invincible. You, were, you could have yeah. taken him. I think yeah, my money's on you, John. 6'2", 141 pounds, I was all man. <laughs> oh, bean poles. We're all bean poles in high school. Yep. So anyway, we're headed to the College World Series to celebrate Father's Day, and boys are fired up, and um, I heard your prediction. I think you're right. Virginia is going to win it over Vanderbilt. But I do take exception to the fact that Vanderbilt has been pitching down. <laughs> You guys are pretty good with, with Howard at the back end and with Kirby today. You guys are pretty good, I'm telling you. And maybe it's because I'm just biased because I've seen these guys. But they've got Beatty, who's a, the 14th overall pick this year. Yeah. Fulmer and Bueller are their two and three starters, and they're both going to be top ten picks next year. I mean, yeah, they they have three, they've got three first-round picks. I mean, that's just ridiculous. I know you guys had three first-rounders today, uh, this year, obviously, but some of those guys on offense. Yep. I'm looking forward to it, though. Have you ever, John, let me ask you this. Have you ever been to Omaha for a College World Series game? We came with uh, Virginia in 2011. Same kind of setup. Boys and us rolled out and um, spent, you know, a week and a half there for the team. And for anybody who doesn't know Virginia baseball, those guys are so great as people. As good as they are as baseball players, they're better people. Uh, We work with them in the community. I have a little foundation that... They come out and help us build baseball fields and do baseball clinics for underprivileged kids. And they're just wonderful, wonderful young people and we're led by an incredible coaching staff. How long is the drive from Charlottesville to Omaha? I've got a lot of family in Charlottesville, actually. So how long is that drive? Uh, we're looking at about 18 and a half hours. Oof. Yeah. So we're, That's we're a about trap. halfway. That's a trek. Now, isn't there, isn't there, see, I remember road trips with the dad, the, 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 the baseball license plate game. Yeah, uh, that's a thing of the past. Now it's yep. the uh, DVD watching an entire series of Indiana Jones movies and playing your uh, tablet. Yep, yep, that's, that sounds about right. The iPad is out in full force. Way to go, Netflix. Ruining child, father-son experiences on the interstate everywhere. <laughs> yeah, the only time I hear from the kids is, I've got a pee or we need a new movie. Sounds about, sounds about right. John, uh, congratulations. Hey, safe travels. Get out to Omaha and uh, root on your wahoos tonight, my friend. I uh, appreciate that to all the fathers out there. Happy Father's Day. My dad, thanks for showing up once well at the game and for always supporting me even when I was a horrible athlete. <laughs> <laughs> excellent call, John. That is excellent. Uh, that is how you start phone calls on a Father's Day, folks. There you go. Taking his two kids to Omaha to watch his favorite team play for a national championship potentially. That's good stuff right there. And I listen, here's the deal. I apologize to everybody out there.